All right, so here's the situation. I want to make a video on the fishing hook, and I only have two copies of it. I know that the fishing hook can have crit hits cause an explosion, and that's what I want to talk about. If you are watching this video, it's because that video is going up tomorrow, so stay tuned, subscribe for more. But I don't really want to core reperk one of the copies I have, because I have 52 pirate llamas to open, so... We're just gonna go for it. We're just gonna hang out for a little bit. We're gonna open some pirate llamas together and uh, we're gonna recycle all the good loot we get. We might as well also open up the uh, legendary troll stash llamas because I mean, we're here, right? Let's, let's just grab them. Llama openings on my channel are super casual. One take recording, just opening things up, seeing what we can get. And, uh, ooh, yeah, okay, I don't really need. Vacuum tube swords can only really be ran in one or two ways. Extra damage to uh, water enemies and extra damage to like like chain lightning. That's what I'm talking about. And you don't really need more than two copies of that weapon because it can only be nature. So I don't see the importance of collecting multiple copies, but I don't know, man. I see a good weapon and I want it. I didn't need a husk cleaver. So there's my fishing hook. Okay, so... If that can give me crit hits cause an explosion, then this video is over. No, I'm gonna open up all my llamas. We're gonna open them all, we're gonna open them all, but I'm actually kind of curious in my own. Okay, I don't wanna hover over anything brand new because I wanna be, oh, all the anti-air traps already gone. How do I get, I, I need to be surgical with this. All right, here we go. Upgrade and inspect, there we go. Uh, okay, that's crit rating. That's not what I need, that's not what I need. And because I've already spoiled these two weapons, we're just gonna recycle them. Easy 100 weapon designs. Oh, and there goes the reaver. Okay, I don't think I can avoid it. I'm just gonna stop there while we're ahead. For those of you who are wondering, a lot of people ask me how you get designs and manuals and all that. And my best advice is A, speedrunning dungeons. When it's available, it is as of recording. This pirate season should have dungeons available. I am so backed up on videos that this is going out a month after recording, so. Yay, but if you're if you're someone who does have dungeons available to you when this video goes out, I recommend grinding dungeons as hard as possible, or really any event that gives you tickets. Like, even if you're not getting a ton of tickets from the specific mission that you're running, you should at least be getting a lot from the quests. That's the big thing. If you do all the dungeon... Ooh, there we go, there we go. If you get all the dungeon quests that are available, you will get 20-some thousand tickets. That's where most of these came from. It's another Affliction copy. See, that's the thing. I don't want to change that, because Affliction from Mei is super good and I want that copy so yeah the fishing hook video is probably gonna be a two-part video nice one to uh you should just fire up here's my recommendation all right fire up a pizza or whatever kind of food you enjoy load up that that fishing hook video and enjoy it in fact hell it's a fishing hook video you should be eating fish you know get some grilled salmon going or something all right just make a meal out of it and enjoy that that's the way to go okay I don't remember what my point was but oh yeah it was getting manuals so running dungeons whatever gets you a lot of tickets and open the llamas from that season because most of what you're gonna get is junk I mean most of the weapons in this game maybe 40 50 percent I should say are, are largely unusable um or they're weapons where you're gonna get tons of copies. Look at how many fishing hooks I've gotten so far. I only need one. So that means I've gotten at least 300 weapon designs just from extra fishing hooks. And you should just open stuff. Open up all these llamas, turn on auto recycle for your own convenience. I wanna do it all at the end so we can see those big numbers, but that is the way to do it. And getting a lot of tickets is super easy, barely an inconvenience, and that's definitely the way to go. So I think speedrunning dungeons is the most efficient way to do it, but doing the horde quests every week or whatever events active at the time that you're watching this video, uh, yearly timeline, link down below, super, super useful. In fact, here, because I'm recording this on stream, Twitch link down below, if you guys ever wanna be a part of the fun, I can just click this link right right here and bring it up to make my point see this that's what you should do see the next season will be hit the road you know just run hit the road get the tickets and i have murdered this point the horse is dead I've, I've i've made my point okay open llamas to get the loot that's that's all that i'm trying to say here and as a as, as, as a new player you might be able to open llamas and get all the different weapons fill out your collection book get the rewards from the collection book i think it's time to start opening multiples at a time that can be really really useful as well because uh collection book levels are really good in fact ooh, there's another fishing hook Collection book levels uh, can be one of the best ways to get uh, flux in the game. A lot of people need flux nowadays. And uh, snare. I'm really, okay, I don't really care about spending a quarry perk, but you guys understand that if I have 52 llamas sitting right here, I might as well try and get lucky. So it's not like the stakes are super high. Um, 
I've been watching him cook. It, it should be fine if I if I have to Corey perk, but I, I do believe that uh, this would be very lucky. Ooh, do I need an extra spy? Nobody needs an extra spy glass. Spy glass, you just need one copy, double headshot. You'll be chilling. Uh, Corsair, that's a weapon that needs a video as well. If you guys are interested in melees and this video is live, you should check. Corsair video has not been recorded as I'm recording this, but I've recorded like six videos today. We're chilling. Sir Hootie also has credits causing explosion. I think I already have a Sir Hootie, but that's another one that should be open. And I've got a bunch of uh, llamas to open on the right. So, wow, no crit hits so far. But let's just open these. Are these lunar llamas from last season? Oh, hey, there you go. 10, well, not 10 lunar llamas, but some extra. I don't care about either of these weapons. You know, I might make a video with the Riptide just because it is kind of, okay, so it's the scavenger version of the Thrasher. And the Thrasher is an insanely good weapon. And the only reason I don't recommend the Riptide is because it does 30 base damage instead of 31, which means it's basically doing 3%-ish less damage which is such an inconsequential amount of damage difference that i i don't think it should matter but i can't not use the thrasher like i i can't knowingly use a weapon that's doing less damage so yeah anyway anyway all right Here's our number. Here's, here's what we're looking at so far here. So we got about 14k training manuals. Not too bad. Not too bad. Trap designs I don't care about. And then weapon designs. So 69. Nice. Let's do weapons first. So I've had people tell me, yes, auto recycle, auto recycle. That will mark all of them all at once. And I'm sorted backwards right now. Uh, I think I know what's happening. So I was not sorted by rating before. I don't think I need multiple Corsairs. Yeah, I got Wedo Field in the leads so the crit chance of 55%. On crit, on crit. Okay, they're all going to have the exact same. I'll keep an extra copy just because why not? Somebody keeps telling me the Dragon's Breath is good. Maybe I'll keep a copy of that, Dragoon. I was floored recently. Okay, I'm going to keep all these purple copies because they might flux to have the right six perk. I don't know what I want more, flux or core re-perk because I'm an endgame player. This is not advice to the noobs who might be watching. If you're new to the game, you might want to save your flux like crazy, but I have nearly 8,000 on hand, so we're chilling. Uh, I think we're going to be fine there. Uh, yeah, I don't need an extra spyglass, okay? Um, so for me, I feel like core re-perk is... I don't know. I don't know. 7,300 weapon designs. That is so nice. Okay, let's do this. Let's do that. Sorted by name. Do I have any crit hits cause explosion? No, that's crit rating. Okay, and that one is, hey, we got a crit hits cause explosion. Woo, fuck yeah, let's go. Uh, I, I think we could stop. Well, actually, you can have multiple elements. And if this weapon's unironically strong, like Maddie on Archer, keep gaslighting me into thinking it's good. So we'll see. Yeah, credits cause explosion. There we go. 7,700 flux. Put it to good use. That is the weapon I'll be leveling up for the video. I feel like this is kind of cool behind the scenes. Like, if you guys actually watched the fishing hook video and enjoyed it, um, this could be kind of a cool way to just sort of see how I got it. Now, do I run that with ooh, Bright Core or Sunbeam? That's a topic for the fishing hook video. Let's stay focused. Ooh, clean 1600. Let's stay focused. So let's go to the survivors. Uh, sort by rating. Yep, we got that. And then we're just going to auto-retire all the purple survivors. Easy. 4,500 manuals. And I don't need a legendary lead because mythic leads are way better, obviously. Oh, that's so satisfying. Click to the defenders page as well. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Auto-retire those. There we go. Another easy. 18, nearly 1,900. Mm, that's so good. Now we're up to 20,000. Got over, what, 6,000 training manuals? That's good. Trap designs, still don't care. I've got every single trap in my collection book maxed, and I've got all the traps that I want on hand anyway, so I don't really care. Uh, web designs, I literally don't know where we started, but I feel like I got 9,000. That, that feels right. That feels right. I need more of those always. And then the heroes, again, are heroes that I personally have every copy of. I don't need any spares of these heroes so i think i'll just recycle them any ones that i don't have in the book will go into the book but i think we're good and i probably should have checked this before doing that but i'm personally curious about what my collection book's looking like so if we go to the event people section then go down to the pirates yeah i've got yeah we're good okay all right uh, so how about the pirate weapons is there anything I'm, I'm missing just on a personal note i'm curious if i have anything i should be looking out for nope no we are completely done okay well all right we got that taken care of and then the one more thing that i wanted to check was this right over here yeah xp boost so if you position it just right oh did they make this confirm button smaller you used to be able to use them every time maybe that was like teammates oh i don't remember oh man you used to be able to like get it pixel perfect oh there we go 
Oh, it's still possible. This was easier before, but if you get it just right, I don't think that's pixel perfect, but it's very close to it. You can just spam click. Oh, that's so much better. If you're on a controller, it's a lot easier. But uh, either way, I'm out of llamas. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more content like this, then let me know. I mean, these videos usually get enjoyed by viewers, so I like making them. And I, I figure if I can open them on camera and you guys can enjoy it with me, why not? So uh, yeah, fishing hook video tomorrow. Stay tuned for that. See you guys then. And uh, thanks for watching.